Hello and welcome to this tutorial. Today we're going to be looking at breaking down how I did the sound for the different parts of the SWAT video using only the Sound Design Bundle 2. If you haven't seen the original video, you can check out the link in the description. So in this part, we're going to be looking at Reformer Pro. So if you're unfamiliar with Reformer Pro, it's a all-in-one solution for performing sound design in Foley. Now, what I've got here is a few libraries I've loaded in from our Close Foley and Materials Bundle. Now in the former you can just choose any of these by clicking on them and selecting the library from our giant list of libraries. Or you can create them yourself by using the library creation option up here. Now once I'd found a bunch of libraries I liked, I can then move the puck inside the XY region here and choose how I blend all of these libraries together as all four will play at once as I perform. Now the way I decided to perform for this video was using a mic input. So I've just taken one selection from the original SWAT video. You can see as I click through it, it's a bunch of police officers jumping out of a SWAT van. Now the great thing is I can just press play to this and then using the mic input I can perform it in real time using Reformer Pro. So let me show you a quick demo of how Reformer Pro will work with that. So all I need to do is play back, record an A-ball, and I can perform this entire library. So let's have a quick listen to how my vocal input first sounded without any Reformer Pro. So as you can see, it isn't anything of a good take in terms of an actual performance. But the minute we add Reformer Pro to it, it really brings it to life and puts it inside this scene. Now as well as that, you can see that I've got um, a couple of different Reformer Pros here. Now, all I've done is try to represent different main characters I can see on screen and how their foley would be performed. A great way to do that is by having a second Reformer Pro. And as you can see, I've loaded in all of the same libraries, but I've moved the internal puck over to this side. So I'm getting more of the leather and more of the canvas bag rather than the jacket and backpack. Let's have a listen to how these two sound together. Now combining them both has made it feel like a much fuller and more interesting foley for the scene. So let's have a listen to how that sounds um, in the entire mix. So then I just repeated this throughout the entire video. As you can see here, this is the whole of the performance all the way through. So let's have a quick listen to how this sounds when we go inside. Now the reason that this was so easy with Reformer Pro was you can see I've just cut up all of my takes and chosen the best um, instances of my performance and what really excited Reformer Pro in the best ways. That way it was just like performing real foley, except I can just do it with a microphone at my desk. And then after this I went on to add all of this automation for volume, panning, I even added a bit of a low pass filtering for the moment when the character is behind the glass and he's yet to come through. Because all of the input is actually processed by Reformer first, you could do all of this automation later on without any effect on the original recording. Now, there is also a second way in which you can use Reformer Pro. So if I come down here, you can see these glass crunches. Now, 
The glass crunch was done using Reformer Pro's dynamic input. What the dynamic input does is use the data from the parameters in here, amplitude, frequency, bandwidth, and variation to procedurally create new sound effects. I loaded in the glass crunch so that I could emulate the footsteps as the characters are walking across the floor. So let me show you here how the scene looks with Reformer off. All I had to do was find where the footstep points were and draw in the automation. So as you can see here, I've automated in like a peak for when the footsteps are hitting the floor and then a gradual decline so that as the amplitude reduces, Reformer Pro will still perform some of the more quiet and delicate sounds inside the Glass Crunch library. So let's have a quick listen to how that sounds. Now you can also see that I've used some automation on the frequency. The reason I've done this is because it will add some of the different frequency content from the entirety of the library. So when it's on the lower frequency settings, you're going to get the lower crunches, you know, anything that's a bit heavier sounding. And then when it's up at the higher frequency content, you're going to get the light tinkling and crispier sounds. The great thing about automating between all of these is that it gives a lot more variety and a realistic feel to the scene. So let's have a listen to how that sounds with the rest of the mix. We hope that you've enjoyed this tutorial. You can see how we used all of our software for this video by following the links in the description. If you'd like to see any more tutorials or videos from us, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel. For more information or to download a free 10 day demo of any of our products, you can head to the Krotos Audio website. Thanks for watching.